Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Let's learn about cells. All living creatures are made up of microscopic parts called cells. Cells are the building blocks for all life and are the smallest known unit of life that can replicate independently. Living organisms can be made up of one or more cells. Single-celled organisms are called unicellular, while organisms with two or more cells are called multicellular. There are many types of cells, each with their own unique structure and function. The two main types include prokaryotic cells. These are simple cells without a nucleus, like bacteria. Eukaryotic cells. These are more complex cells with a nucleus, like the ones in plants and animals. Every living thing is made up of cells, and these cells work together to help the organism grow, move, and stay healthy. In this video, we will take a closer look at eukaryotic cells, more specifically, plant and animal cells. Cells are made up of organelles, which are tiny parts inside the cell that do specific jobs, much like organs in our bodies. Both plant and animal cells have a cell membrane. This is like a thin protective wall around the cell. It keeps everything inside safe and lets good things in while keeping bad things out. Unlike animal cells, plant cells also have a cell wall. A cell wall is a strong, rigid layer that surrounds the cell membrane. It provides structural support and protection, helping the cell maintain its shape. The cell wall is mainly made of cellulose, a type of carbohydrate. The cell wall also helps regulate what enters and exits the cell. Inside the cell, there is a jelly-like fluid that fills it up. This is where the cell's activities happen. This is known as the cytoplasm. This is the nucleus. It is the cell's control center, like the brain of the cell. It holds the instructions, or DNA, for everything the cell does. Here are the mitochondria. These are the powerhouses that give the cell energy. Here is another organelle called the vacuole. In animal cells, this is usually referred to as vesicles. It functions mainly in storage of nutrients, waste products, and other materials the cell might need. In plant cells, it also works to support the structure of the plant. Vacuoles are generally larger in plant cells, often occupying most of the cell's interior. Plant cells differ from animal cells in that they contain chloroplast. It is the site within the plant where photosynthesis takes place, which is a process that converts sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into sugars and oxygen. Chloroplasts contain a green pigment called chlorophyll, which captures light energy. This energy is then used to produce food for the plant, making chloroplasts essential for the plant's growth and energy supply. Cells also contain Golgi apparatus. These organelles package and ship out things the cells make. Ribosomes. These are tiny machines that make proteins which are super important for the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, often called ER, helps make and move proteins and other important things the cells need. Cells are the basic building blocks of all living organisms performing essential functions to sustain life. They regulate internal processes, convert nutrients into energy, and eliminate waste. Cells contain specialized structures which coordinate activities like growth, reproduction, and metabolism. In multicellular organisms, cells work together to form tissues and organs, enabling complex biological functions. Their ability to replicate and respond to the environment is crucial for the survival and adaptation of living beings. 
I hope you learned something about cells today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.